years ago, in April 1978, the match stalk men, I've been saying match stick all morning, sorry, lads, I'm really sorry is. about that. And they hit number one with their, sorry, sung by Brian and Michael. The boys are here to celebrate the anniversary, confusingly called Kevin and Mick. Correct. Do you want an explanation? Yes, that? please. Well, Mick and I have been together since we were little kids about 18, and uh, we worked together for lots of years. And when we made Match Talk Men, I was signed with the band, my, my rock band. So we brought a guy in called Brian who was going to front it with Mick. And a week after the record released, he, he decided he wasn't going to do it. Why? So uh, I don't think he was, he'd, he'd not really had the sort of grounding that we had in the music business. Right. And he was a little bit daunted by it. He bottled it. So we, yeah, he bottled it, yeah. <laughs> So I had to live the life of Brian all my life. So <laughs> you did. So it's Michael and Kevin or me. Yes, yeah. Mick and Kevin. Yeah. yeah. Mick and Kevin. Um, now Match Stalk Men, like Nina said, I also thought it was Matchstick. Do you find that a lot? Occasionally. Well, people tell it the correct word is Matchstick, but it, it, when I was a kid, two, plural and two of everything, like a Match Stalk. A Match Stalk was a, you know what you call a Matchstick. It's a Match Stalk, and we used to make little guns. What used to fire them in Match, and we called two of them were match dogs. Oh, right, OK. Uh, right. I'm told there's only me that ever said that, so it's gone in so a dictionary a now, and I've made a word up now. Yeah, there's no such word, apparently, so... Oh, right. So we're not that silly, Nina. Can't change no. it, now. it turns out we're just a bit too clever for our own good. <laughs> um, I can genuinely, sincerely say that this song caught my imagination oh. more than anyone else, Little Girl, and that's the God's Honest oh. Truth. Uh, when you were writing it, was it similar that sort of Lowry perhaps captured your imagination in that way? Yeah, because I was born, you know, not far from here, down uh, Ardwick, near the Apollo, I had a bit green and brought around that area in Ancoats. And when I was a kid, everything that the Lowry paintings you see now, he depicted all them areas when yeah. I was a kid and I grew up. Well, you know, we did, we did sort of look like that, you know, and every time I used to see like a Lowry painting, I always, it just still gets me. Do you think it is a good reflection? Well, we life? do because we get lovely letters from Africa, Australia, don't we? And they say, as soon as you put your record on and a Lowry painting's over the fireplace, we're just back home. Oh. And you get some lovely letters, like, and it, and it must have that kind of a thing for people, which is the basic, you know, basis of the. I was looking really. on the internet uh, yesterday, weren't we? Yeah. And on YouTube, there's lots of people who've put their own sort of collage of Larry pictures on, and they've always put it to match them in behind. Lovely. And there's loads of comments from people, and there was one that amused me yesterday, yeah. and it said, um, "I'm a, a hairy something ex-con. I'm 42. <laughs> yeah, Whenever I hear my song, Match Dot Men." He said it reduces me to tears. Oh, he said he was really? listening. He was doing porridge and he said it was his favourite favourite song, wasn't it, in the neck and he's playing it. So it used to make him cry. I feel like he wanted to get it. Oh, <laughs> I wonder what the other inmates <laughs> thought. Um, yeah. I don't want to give the end away, but yeah. it is a pretty sad ending to this. It was, songs, it was like an it? epitaph, really, yeah. Well, it was, I mean, I, I, I love Lowry anyway, because yeah. I, I did I always I admired him when I was younger and as a young man and all the paintings. And um, the last verse really was going to be an another verse, funny enough. There was, uh, he did actually have a stamp, didn't he? A was a stamp, yeah. One and sixpence. And, and I was working on the verse, you know, with the stamp, and it rhymed with gas lamp, and I thought, I'll do it. And I thought, no, no, I'll do one, you know, when he passes away, really, you know. Tired old man with hair like snow. Yeah, and we did. We got some lovely, lovely credits and stuff for that yeah. verse, really, about yeah. uh, the Mona Lisa. It's really touching, yeah. About. Mick won the Ivan Novello Award for that song, which wow. is the Oscar. Awesome was that for the lyrics top, then? Top award you can get for writing. It's a long time ago. You'd still have stabilisers on your bikes, then, you too, wouldn't you? <laughs> we weren't, so we weren't alive. Just How dare you? you? you, you, no, you uh, it's the 30, 30 year anniversary in April, as we've just mentioned. Are you doing anything to celebrate? We do. We've got a few things ourselves, don't we? And yeah. things and we... Maybe you know, with just the new do that kind of game. Yeah, you know, we've yeah. just been talking about that because we knew the, those guys from, from yeah. years ago and one of them we used to work with in Denmark, in Copenhagen, when we were, you know... So, in a rock in band. We were in a rock band together in the 60s, so... But we've decided we should really, we sort of got a little bit too comfortable and a bit too lazy on our old age and we suddenly woke up sort of uh, recently and thought, you know, we should do it again now before we get too old. And before you it. pop your clogs, because there's yeah. not like a lot of duos left now. And I keep, now and again, they dig your balls up just to see if you're there and they say, remember little and large? Well, <laughs> large, is, large is getting large and little is getting little. And you're like, Brian and Michael, I'm saying, oh, hey, no, still Do you know what there. you should do? You should have a word with the guy who runs music at Channel M. He might be able to help you. Do out. I know him? Yeah. Uh, he's, he's not very approachable, but I'll put in a word. Right. Okay. Right. And right. You, do, you do a Zimmer show, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Every now and again, like that's an session. idea. Right. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to meet you, Brian and Michael, or Kevin and Mick, as we yeah, now know. Terrific. Oh, well done. Um, they're all here. Um, you're going to play us out, aren't you? Yeah, we'll sure. A couple of verses, yeah. We're croaking a bit. I, I got oh, we'll be all right. We'll get to We've heard you rehearsing. If he falls we'll... over, just, you know, come in with him. Oh, yeah, I'm We'll be on the standby. Thank you very much, guys. We'll leave you to it. Thank you very much.
They painted some food smoky top on cattle boxes from the shop. Parts of Ancoats where I used to play. I'm sure he once walked down our street, cause he painted kids who had knelt on the feet. The clothes he wore had all seen better days. Now he said his works of art were dull, no room. And the walls are full Lowry didn't care much anyway They said he just paints hats and dogs Matched all men in boots and clogs Lowry said that's just the way they'll stay Come well, on if you now. know it And he painted matched dog men and matched dog cats and dogs He painted kids on the corner of the street That were sparking clogs now he takes his brush and he waits Outside them factory gates To paint his matchdog men and matchdog cats and dogs Now canvas and brushes were wearing thin When London started calling him To come on down and wear the old flat cap Said tell us all about your ways And all about them Salford days Is it true you're just an ordinary chap And he painted matchdog men and matchdog cats and dogs He painted kids on the corner of the street that were sparking clocks Now he takes his brush and he waits Outside them factory gates To paint his matchdog men and matchdog cats and dogs Now Lowry's hang upon the wall Beside the greatest of them all Even the Mona Lisa takes a bow This tired old man with hair like snow Told northern folk it's time to go The fever came and the good Lord mopped his brow Here we go And he left his matchdog men and matchdog cats and dogs He left his kids on the corner of the street That were sparking clogs now he takes his brush and he waits Outside them pearly gates To paint his matchdog men and matchdog cats and dogs And he left his matchdog men and matchdog cats and dogs He left his kids on the corner of the street that was barking clogs Now he takes his brush and he waits Outside them pearly gates to paint his matched up men and matched up cats and dogs.